Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations everybody. Oh well, hang on. That was loud. Anyways, today on Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations we are on the last part. Part 4-2 Trial. Let's yeah. begin. It's January 8th, 121 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby, number one. We're number one! We're, we're number one. one! So we're finally going to see the tiger on the stand. We've almost got this case won now, Nick! I wish I could agree. Huh? When I cross-examined Mr. Armstrong just now, he said he was just doing what the tiger told him to do. But Godot picked up on it, remember? He pointed out that without proof, we don't know if what he testified is the truth. Especially since he lied, like, a lot. A lot. <laughs> you mean, you think Mr. Armstrong was lying? I don't know. But if that's the line the prosecution takes, we could be in trouble. I get the feeling that we don't have the case-making evidence we're going to need. Hey, pal! Detective Gumshoe! What are you so jumpy about, Detective? Your hair's standing on end. Hey, that's the pot calling the kettle black, little Miss Topknot! It's not a topknot! Never mind about the hair, just calm down, alright? Uh, uh, I can't stand still when I don't have a job to do! Uh, I, I kinda get wound up. Ah! No kidding. You gotta have something you need me to do, pal! Anything! Go get us some evidence! <laughs> <laughs> Go get us a smoothie! Yeah. <laughs> well, um... Hey, I'm gonna take a jog back down to the precinct. I could get some prints analyzed for you if we got an hour. An hour? The trial will have reconvened by then. But, Nick, we still don't have a really decisive piece of evidence, right? True. Without some kind of trump card to pull out of the bag, we're really stuck. You said you could get some fingerprint analysis done in an hour? You bet! In that case, would you mind checking the prints on this for me? I need to know who's touched my Magatama when they stole it. <laughs> <laughs> we could try that. <laughs> What are you doing, Nick? If Detective Gumshoe's going to check some prints for us, shouldn't he be checking this? <laughs> wow, way to just bo spoil it for us. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you're going back to the station anyway, could you find out whose prints are on this? Ours. Oh hey, that's the small bottle I gave you back this morning, right? His Yeah, prints will be I, on there. I think it's time we solve the last mystery of who the prints on it belong to. Sure thing, pal! Actually, that's been gnawing at me too. Small cool. bottle given to Detective Gumshoe. Okay, I'll get to the I'll get this off to the lab right away. So basically, we just need to stall like as long as humanly possible, so that way Gumshoe <laughs> can burst through and be like, Hold "It's case it! two four all over again." <laughs> yeah. Just make sure you don't lose the case before I get back. Yeah, we'll do our best. This is pretty much the final showdown, I guess. It's time to separate the phonies from the real guys. January 8th, 1.56 p.m., District May, Court, uh, Court, Courtroom number 4. Let's see if Godot actually got his witness in 30 minutes. Well, he's there. Court will now reconvene. Mr. Godot, did you find this Furio Tiger? I even tamed him for you. It was a free cup job. No problem. For him or for you? <laughs> <laughs> was it like, you're gonna be tame and I'm gonna give you three cups of coffee? <laughs> no, I think he drank the three <laughs> yeah, cups I'm of guessing. coffee during that. I'm guessing. To tamed him? The guy's name may be Furio Tiger, but come on! He's pretty lively. Be careful, he still bites. Yeah. Very well, please show Mr. Tiger to the stand. Hi. We meet again. Um, witness, please state your name and occupation for the- <laughs> <laughs> Don't hide under the table, Maya! Unless there's room for me down there, too! <laughs> I, uh, um, would you mind- What'd you say to me? N n nothing! I didn't say nothing! Honest! Who could have guessed the fear that would induce a bad Brooklyn accent in the judge? I got business to take care of, you hear me? So who the hell called me into this hole? Godot did! Was it you, Spikey? Ah, no, uh, of course not. It was the judge. <laughs> y your honor! Oh dear, I, um, I, I seem to have dropped my pen. Where on earth is it? <laughs> Don't 
don't mind me, just carry on with the proceedings as normal. What? That's it. We're doomed. Maybe you didn't hear me! I said who the hell was it that called me in here? There's no need to shout. We can all hear you. What did you say? There's no point struggling. You're caught in a snare. The relentless snare of the law. And I'm the one that hauled you in. Okay, good. Grr. What? T too cool. <laughs> Don't let him get the better of you, Nick! Let's start with the basics. You know about the incident in question, correct? <sighs> incident? I don't know nothing about no stupid incident mask, boy! You mean you didn't attend the previous trial of Maggie Bird? Maggie who? I got more important things to do than watch courtroom dramas! True. Of course. Well, perhaps you could, uh, could give us your testimony then. Please tell us about what you did on the day of the murder. <laughs> Phoenix Wright. You just beat the one who set this up, didn't you? You was gonna regret the day you ruffled the tiger's fur. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe I should have brought a diaper with me today. <laughs> Get a grip, Nick! <laughs> Maya's still under the table. I like how the judge is also under the table. <laughs> Witness testimony. The tiger's alibi. Oh, this will be fascinating. I don't know nothing about no murder. I was tied up with business in December last year. Spent all of my time into office. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got whales lined up to borrow cash from Tender Lender every single day. Okay. You just want to check my alibi? Just ask Violetta. Uh, but she's not here. <laughs> ah, at last, I found my pen. Good. Very well then, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination, please. Yeah! <laughs> what is it? Please, witness, if you could refrain from shouting out like that. I know the kind of games that kind of boo plays. That lowlife ain't no lawyer. He just punches away at stupid details till he wins. Lowlife? Me? Listen up, smarty. Every time you ask me something that don't relate to this case, I'm gonna bill you $50,000, and you're just gonna borrow the cash to pay for it for me. Um... Uh, that's one loan contract I refuse to sign. Yeah. I don't think it ain't gonna hurt when you get tangled with the tiger. So this is probably gonna be like a mo where it's like, do not pick anything that doesn't... Whatever. <laughs> ha. I love a good spectator sport. Kind of, but also not quite. J just wait a minute. That's really not. This witness is, how can I put it, a hungry tiger roaming the urban jungle. Eh. Get on his bad side and he'll bite everyone's heads off. Yours too. Does he have a good side? Very well. I have no choice but to impose a penalty system here. You better be listening. I said I got business to take care of. Big business. If I don't split now, I ain't gonna catch my bus. Okay, well, we don't care. The court will impose a penalty for any irrelevant pressing of witnesses' testimony. Okay. Keep that in mind as you begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Fair enough, it won't be hard. Y yes, Your Honor. You can do it, Nick! Come out from under there already, would you, Maya? Nope. No. <laughs> the tyke is out of body. <laughs> yeah, this is not gonna be too hard. I All don't right. know nothing about no murder. Cool. I was tied up with business in December, spent all my time in the office. Maybe we'll press that. I got whales lined up. To borrow cash no, every nobody day. Nobody cares. <laughs> um, I got pet whales? They're pretty cool. <laughs> you just want to check my alibi, just check by letter. Two, two we can press. That's my guess. Okay, so how this works is we can press it, but then it'll eventually be, should I press fervor or not? And then if we do the press fervor and it's the wrong one. Oh, it, so we can So we actually still can press, everything. yeah. I was more expecting Mo like, oh boy, I was pooped, and then they're just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. I don't buy that you haven't even heard of the incident that occurred at Trabion. Heh <laughs> You just got a big mouth right. You was trying to say I was in on some mob hit? Is that what you trying to say? Where's your proof then? Um, evidence, yes. Uh, well, for an attorney to make an accusation in court, he must have evidence. Okay. That's from Lone Shark to Lawyer, a beginner's guide. Yeah, there's a book for he, that niche market. He probably needed it when he dressed up as us. No, no, like, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not questioning why he chose the book. I'm questioning who wrote the book where it's like, I bet a lot of Lone Sharks are going to want to learn them all. <laughs> Let's write a book about it. Yeah, <laughs> or maybe well, maybe he wrote the book and he he's just advertising it in a yeah. court. You should buy it, yeah. It's yeah. pretty great. <laughs> Ah, I see you're the studious type, Mr. Tiger. Very good. Ha. Eh. <laughs> Why don't you ask him to represent you sometime, Trite? No. Ugh, what should I do? Press harder or... Yeah, so you can see the penalty meter eh. here. Probably leave it, but... It's too dangerous to press faints without knowing where they might end up. I better just focus on gathering information at the moment. Now then, Mr. Tiger, 
Would you mind repeating your testimony from the beginning, please? What time ain't free, you hear? You just better remember that. If I miss that bus, someone's gonna pay. Ugh. Mm. He has a scooter. <laughs> yeah, not, it's broken, though. But he can still ride it. It's just like, it's like the light is broken on okay. it or something. I don't... You already pressed this. Oh, is this the same one? Yeah. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry. I thought... Oh, it, it literally did reset back to the beginning. Just hit press harder again. Okay. Mr. Tiger, what do you want? Uh, if you wouldn't mind going into a bit more detail. This is a dead-end trite, and you know it. Yeah, I knew it. Remember the rules. The penalty? Pressing the witness without evidence to back up your attack is prohibited. You didn't let us present! As I said earlier, the court will impose a penalty for such behavior. Okay, well, whatever. Ouch! The pain. Suffering. Now then, Mr. Tiger. <laughs> I'm a timing free, man! <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. I didn't... Because uh -huh. uh, it normally goes to the next statement, but I guess it resets back mm -hmm. to the beginning. Are you sure about that? We're talking about one month ago, you know. You see these teeth? That's how sharp my secretary is. Sharp? Is he talking about Vi Viola Cadaverini? She writes everything in my scheduler. December, mainly in the office. That's what it says, so that's where I was. Um... That, that seems like a rather, er, uh, sketchy schedule. Brrr! There he goes again. Oh, what the tiger did all December isn't the issue. What's important is what he was doing on the day of the murder. So, now what? Yeah. When in doubt, just press harder and then we'll get penalized and we can go back. Okay. Mr. Tiger, what do you want? Uh, if it's you wouldn't mind going into dialogue. a bit more detail. <laughs> this is a dead end trite it's and you know it. Remember the rules. No, it's essential that we establish the witness's alibi accurately. I agree. The victim was killed on December 3rd. Were you in the office that day too? Maybe you ain't listening. Of course I was. I never set foot outside. I had meetings all day with a bunch of cats wanting to do business with me. I ain't never seen that young kid before. Really? I do believe the witness's last statement was important. Um, Mr. Godot, if you could please. Mr. Tiger, the court asks you to add that last statement to your testimony. Hmm. Don't let an animal beat you. Be a man, your honor, and ask him yourself. Be a <laughs> Seriously, okay, he's got like the vampire teeth and the, an orange tongue. Which max matches, matches his, his orange skin. skin. Yeah, the tongue thing is very anime. Not the, <laughs> not the anime that I watch, but actually the anime I watch. <laughs> There's, there's one show where there's, like, this total creep. He was, like, the villain that, like, kept licking his lips and being weird. But... <laughs> Did he also vigorously apply chapstick in inappropriate places? No. Oh. <laughs> no. That would have been funnier. <laughs> I, I, the day he was talking about, I was at the office, too. I've never seen that kid before. Okay. You didn't know Mr. Glenn Elg? Really? Oh. I don't mess with the guppies when there are bigger fish to Oh, fly. I know exactly what we... What do you say, that? boss? Huh? Um, who? Uh, me? How's about I hit you with a fat $200,000? Hmm. Well, I was thinking about purchasing a nice car from Europe. He's seriously considering this? Wow, the Tiger's a really good salesman, huh? Yeah, and if I want to sell this case, I need to copy him. How about you hit him with a fat piece of evidence, boss? I wish it was that easy. It's really easy. We just show him the calendar that had... Like the, oh, Glen Elk's calendar, meet, meet with, the, with the tiger. You know if we present that, it's gonna be, he was talking about going to the zoo, man. <laughs> it's spelled the same way. That's probably why they spelled their name different. Okay. First off, I just want to check. It does just say the tiger without oh, the R-E. You know what? I don't care. It's the same day. It lines up perfectly. <laughs> All right. Well, let's press the rest of this first. So I take it you get a lot of customers at your black market loan office? It's tough for the little guys these days. Small businesses are feeling the pinch. Bosses of companies like that want to get in good with me. I'm your best friend. Um. I see. That's very admirable of you, witness. Oh, no. I wouldn't. <laughs> if you immediately. Oh, this is our witness. He's a black market loan shark. They're He's not like, Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I like, totally run with the black market. You're not going to arrest him or take down his business? 
<laughs> or at least have it be like, Detective, look through his business later. <laughs> really? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, Ted Devender's motto is win through compromise, you know? Oh, yeah. Win through compromise? What is that supposed to mean? Compromise the customer to win. That's what it means. You's got it? With best friends like you, who needs enemies? Here, let me spell it out for you all. You don't, you don't pay me back within three days, Spikey. I take what's due and your stupid hair. What? You follow what I'm saying? 10,000, um, but in three but days. But I'm not one of your customers. Should I ask more about Tender Lender or not? No. <laughs> oh man, I wanted to be... So tell us more about your black market, like, auction. Eh. We know what to do. Alright. Well, you also wanted to press this one. Oh, yeah. By Violetta, you're talking about the Cadaverini families? Yeah. You don't want to cross them. Or you's getting wind up sleeping with the fishes. Once the <laughs> Godfather <laughs> finds out you've been dragging Violetta through the mud, he'll do you in. Sorry, I, I couldn't quite put it all together towards the end there. He said that just like Viola, didn't it? Didn't he? I get the feeling this might not be the right time to probe him about her. Yes! <laughs> no, no! We, we had to! <gasps> it would just do the same dialogue. Oh, though. okay. <laughs> You're just gonna borrow the cash from me. I, I never seen that kid before. Yeah, well, well no, we, you have. We, I mean, you have. got this one. Mr. Tiger, you claim you didn't know Mr. Glen Elg, but it appears that Mr. Elg knew you. What? Mr. Elg left this little note on his calendar. Meet with the tiger. Dated December 3rd. D December 3rd? That's the day of the murder. So, Mr. Tiger, I submit that you did indeed know one Mr. Glenn Elg. Because on the very day of the incident, you met with him. He's like, how dare you go snooping? <laughs> not bad. He was actually not bad. S sorry? I was just messing with yous to see how good you were. Did you hear that, Nick? He said you're not bad. That's one compliment I can do without. Plus, he's lying through his teeth. Um, witness, please remember you're under oath. Lies will not be tolerated. You was calling me a liar? Is that what you're doing? You just admitted it. Ruh <laughs> 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 What is the dog? Is, he, is this the Judge Scooby-Doo? <laughs> it's a good Scooby-Doo <laughs> reference. So you're saying that you claim to have never seen that kid before is the truth? I said I'm dead serious. You just better believe that's the truth. Ha. <laughs> Then I'd say that gives me time to enjoy another cup of pure black magic. That is, while you testify for the court again, Mr. Tiger. Oh yes, um, would you mind indulging the court witness? He never actually met the victim? That's gotta be a lie right there. It's time I nailed this guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he has quite a few testimonies. <clears throat> the victim, Glenn Elg. I ain't no liar. I never met uh, Glenn Elk. Okay. There was some lame guy with that name, though. Wanted to borrow cash from me. Okay. I set up a meeting with the guy at my office, Tender Lender. Okay. I waited around for him, but he ain't ever showed. I ain't never been to that Tropion joint, you hear? Okay, that is definitely a lie, because I think there was evidence that proved he was there. Do you remember? Or here. Court record. <laughs> Well, I mean, there was a scooter. Oh, yeah, his loan contract. That's for Jean Armstrong. And but... we saw Viola was the one who went there. Yeah, but then he was there with us when he beat us up. That's, oh, that's... why I think it's complete garbage. Oh, you're talking about the medical papers. Yeah, that one. <laughs> okay. I see. That all seems perfectly logical. You had arranged to meet with the victim, but he didn't show up. I've heard it's pretty hard. To keep appointments when you're dead. Uh, yeah. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Yeah. Yes, Your Honor. Didn't I tell you I got a big deal going down today? I ain't gonna make my bus now. I'm gonna have to take the express train. That bill's going straight to you, Wright. That shouldn't go to us. That should go to Godot, who called him. No, he should just suck it up and deal with it because he committed perjury on the stand. Yeah, I agree. Uh. Poor Phoenix, right? Having to pay for, like, Maya's burgers. Shower, and, like, long Like, five showers. different veins of Wada's camera film. Oh, I forgot All about of that. Larry's samurai dogs. <laughs> I forgot 
forgot about that too. <laughs> Thanks, Miss. I was thinking more of when she was like, I'm gonna go like do the waterfall like training, then she just keeps the shower on for like three hours. <laughs> He's like, Yes, I have the worst medical or not medical worst, the worst water, water bill, bill of ever. your life. I ain't never met Glenn L. Okay. And yet, your name was written on the victim's calendar. Get that horse calendar out of my face! I'm the tiger, not a lame horse, you porcupine! Tigers like to eat horses like that for breakfast! Ew. No, no, no! Witnesses aren't permitted to eat evidence. Not that they ever would. Uh, Phoenix Wright did. Well, there was a case once where a young lad ate. <laughs> uh, anyway! <laughs> Nice callback! I don't remember ever hearing about that. If you had never met the victim before, how do you explain this note he left? Oh, I love the necklace so much I just ate it. Like, I love how it wasn't even, like, food. It's yeah. Like, it was, a f it was glass a necklace. necklace. <laughs> That's very strange. According to the manager of the firm where the victim worked, December 3rd was the date he had to repay his loan. He wasn't due to discuss borrowing money, but repaying what he owed. Oh, yeah. Maybe you's right. Whatever it was, it was going down at the beginning of December. So you did meet Mr. Elg then? Hey, right. You might want to cool your jets a sec. Uh. <laughs> me? <laughs> me? Me ruin my one? Me wear my watch? Oh, no. Oh. My brand new favorite used shirt is ruined. <laughs> what? Cyber Chase for real. Oh, I... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's been so long since I've watched that. <laughs> Cyber chase so your me. meeting wasn't supposed to be at Tra Beyond then? Why would I want to go to a dump like that? If you want to talk to my clients, I got an office decked out for the job. And the best punch bag you ever saw in there. Nice. Not exactly a professional office you've got there, you know. So you were in your office on the day in question? Indeed. I went around for him, but he ain't never showed. He didn't show up? Ha. Huh. What do you think, Trite? Let's see, how does a dead man get from a French restaurant to a loan shark's office? Carried. And you yourself didn't go to Trabion? What are you trying to pin on me for here? Um, uh, the murder. Why don't you just come down to my office? We could chat about this thing on my way, yeah? No. I got the best punching bag you ever saw in there. He really likes the punching bag. He does. No, no, no need. I'm good, thanks. I feel like he would just use that to, like, take out his anger, if anything, where it's just like, <laughs> oh, no, where it's like, oh, I'm sorry, but this loan broke. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up, I ain't got nothing more to say except this. I ain't never even been to that Tropion joint. Never? Not even once? Not even once. I was in my office that day that when it went down. I didn't put no poison in no kid's coffee, capiche? Hmm. Mm. Do you think he really didn't meet Glen Elg? Not likely. Because I'm convinced this guy's behind the whole thing. So you mean, that whole testimony he just gave was a lie? Of course. So we can't afford to give him time to think of ways to plug the leaks in it. I've got to nail him while I still can. Okay. Well, we can try... The medical the papers? The medical papers? Because this is what he tried to steal from us when he punched us right. out in there. I wish that would work. This evidence clearly reveals the contradiction in that statement, Your Honor. How exactly are the evidence of the statement just now related? Uh... <laughs> not at all. Mr. Wright, please think the facts over before making accusations. Uh... I don't think that won me any points with the judge. Okay, back. Um... So you still think this is a statement, though? I think so, yeah. I no, just he's realized he's got, like... There. He's got, like, Indian war paint, like, beneath his eyes, like, the yellow splotches. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I could be the and scooter. A scar. Was the scooter parked outside of Travion? It was in the Vitamin Square, which is near Travion, but that doesn't prove he went inside. Right, right. Uh, back then. What about the paper? Oh, uh, the newspaper? Uh, the mutant sports paper. Nope. No. No... Um... Pictures, testimony, crime photo, coffee cup. Mm. Uh, shoot. Is it- wait, go back. 
The thing all the way down, down to job list? No, no, that's, the that's job for the old man. That's for the old man. What's the paper all the way to the right? Uh, Jean's loan contract. I think that could be it. Ah. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> when the Basically, music plays, this is the you annoying got thing. it wrong. <laughs> here's, here's the annoying thing. Like, we literally have proof everywhere, including from Gumshoe, that, like, this dude, the Mafia, jumped us. And yet... <laughs> he's not the Mafia. He's okay, just he's a bad dude. he's the underlord of Lone Sharks. And yet, we still can't, like, be like, um, <laughs> this guy tried to take me down, take this girl down... Like, have this ridiculous loan contract and also made the chef beat us up or beat me up. And then, like, <laughs> yeah, and Gumshoe it is broke it up. Like, you yeah, Gumshoe could te immediately... Well, no, Gumshoe can't testify. He's getting the lab results done. Okay, but I'm saying we could have brought that up immediately and then have them be like, bring him in. Yeah, it's true. And it's so dumb that we can't do that. Yeah, there's some Otherwise, dumb in this I don't game. know what other statement we would press besides that one. It is this one. Okay. Um... Let's take a closer look at the evidence. Yep. On loan from Maya, recovered in the kitchen. Left behind by the victim. Yep. Victim. Article from December... Look at that. I can't. What? Normally you can. No. It says I was trounced and my client was found guilty. This is an article from December 5th. That's the day that the tiger went to trial. <laughs> right, but didn't he need to, like, go in and then look at the evidence? And stuff no. for it. No. He was just like, I'm gonna do this. Okay. <laughs> Job listings. Nope. The lunch special. No. No. No, apparently not that one. Not that one. I doubt it's blueprints. The autopsy not report. Not the autopsy. Crime not the photo, crime photo. Coffee cup. Nope. Lottery ticket. No. Apron. No. Potassium cyanide. No. Um, nope. Nope. Oh, yeah, that was found at Tenderloin. I was like, wait, was that found? There, no. no. Okay, uh, not that. Nope. Ten minutes. No. <laughs> That's gonna be used at some point, I know. I just guarantee it. It'll probably be the thing at the end where, like, Maggie's like, Oh, we won the case, but I'm depressed. And it's like, well, how about this thing? <laughs> like, that is how every case ends, where it's like, oh, I need to be cheered up for all the things that no, happened. No, you hand her the job listings, because she wants a new job. <laughs> it could be! Like, who knows? Okay, um... Medical papers. I thought it would be the medical papers, but it's not. Oh. Okay, yeah, it's that <laughs> <Yeah>. one. <laughs> I buy the Drabion matches. Mr. Tiger, is there something you'd like to tell the court about these matches? Matches? What are you talking about? I forgot about the matches. We found them in your office at Tender Lender. They're from that restaurant. Wuh. Oh, that's because if, Violetta loves going there, but I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> if you've really never been to Trabion before, what would a book of the restaurant's matches be doing on your desk? You've been snooping around in my stuff too now, wise guy! What are you, are you, my ball and chain? Ain't no broad controlling me. Okay, that's literally your job as a, as a detective, though. I'm Detect not a detective! As a ace attorney. <laughs> not ace yet. Order, order. Well, witness, I think it's time you started telling us the truth, don't you? Ah! S sorry, I'm terribly sorry. Forgive me. I ain't no pussycat. I ain't gonna go back on what I said. But okay, I was at the joint that day. That's... That what? That's... Yeah. But was it good, all right? I might have been there, but I still never met that kid. The restaurant's huge. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. I went at 5 p.m. He went at 1 p.m. It's like, how'd you know? <laughs> 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 Looks like an order just came in for another testimony. Come on. Stop letting him I'm get away I'm this close with to Marjorie. proving it was him. He did meet Glen Elk that day, and he did put poison in his coffee. He must have. Okay. Yo, dude, let's see you prove it, though. Yeah. At Trabion. Okay. I was supposed to meet with the kid at the restaurant that afternoon. When I opened the door to the joint, I saw one ugly scene. What? The guy was laid out over the table stiff as concrete. I figured if the place wasn't hot already, it was gonna be. So I split. 
I heard the cop's sirens on my way out, and I went straight back to my office. And you just happened to pick up a box of the matches as well? He looks and says, oh, better get out of here. Oh, matches! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, so he walked in, and all he saw was the dude slumped over like, bleh. And then he's like, yeah. I need to split. And then he could hear police sirens outside. Didn't it take the police, like, a while because the dude was like, Bleh, Gotta find the payphone! Gotta find the payphone! Ah! <laughs> yeah. Um, Stupid cell phones! <laughs> wouldn't you, like, run into the chef? Or... The chef might have been in the kitchen. Chef moving the gigantic, non-existent mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I see. You didn't actually meet with him in the end, then. Well, Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. I mean, you saw Yes, him. your honor. Hold it! If I wait around here any longer, I ain't even gonna make the normal express! No more stupid questions! Ha. No problem. Ugh. Anytime Trite presses you on something irrelevant, I'll see he pays a penalty. We already have that! But Mr. Godot, that's my job. Your job is to slam that little hammer of yours and call a guilty verdict. Okay. So do it. Y yes, sir. The Special Express ain't cheap, right? Just so you know, since you's paying. Oh, man. Doesn't the rule of law mean anything around here? Yeah. Well, complete mode. I think we're gonna end the episode there. Are we? Yeah, we're right at the half hour mark. Okay. It's a good time to stop, and we still have a, at least a few testimonies left. Oh my gosh. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We might be able to finish off the tigers and, and the case, y'all. He's like, perjury, perjury, perjury. Like, just, I don't know, with a dance. <laughs> with the collar. <laughs> the the collar. The collar. He's wearing basically a tiger version of a Hawaiian shirt, to yeah. be fair. Just which like is kind of interesting. Trying to lie Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. Yeah.